Kia ora. My name is Mark and I am a professor at the University of Auckland. I've been an academic ever since I was a student. I do a lot of consultancy work with people in practice and do work with government on a number of committees looking at embryos and family violence and various things. So I do have an outside life, but my primary reason for existence is being in a university, which I, I love. I love the, the vibrance, the community of scholars, the ideas that we can exchange. The postgraduate here is very well run, very well looked after, and it's a community and it's easy to get to know everyone. We have regular afternoon teas and various things, so you get to know people. And I'm happy to, to, to share things with you. When people hear the word Postgrad, they probably think, God, that's pretty scary, that must be heavy stuff. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Uh, as an undergrad, you're bombarded with exams, no exams in postgrad, which is a, a great thing, because exams force you to kind of learn in a particular way. Postgrad, you're free to be who you are and have your own mind. That's what I love about teaching postgrad, taught in a very different way. Uh, my course, Advanced Family Law, uh, we meet and sit around a table and every class is discussion. So it's not about uh, me telling you things which you have to remember and do an exam. It's about you finding a topic that you're really deeply interested in and being able to find your own voice. That's the whole point of postgrad. It's about you being able to explore a topic and you'll have things you're interested in that you really want to go into in great, great detail and really understand. And we work as a group. We all help each other with our papers, uh, feedback and discussion, pre presentations. And the topics are endless. You know, just to give you a few examples from, from last semester, one person was looking at what do we do with dead men's sperm? Should we be able to use it if they're not sure about what can be done? If they've written a consent, we can, but if they haven't, can we, can we use it? At the other end, we're looking at a lot of cultural issues. There were a number of students in the class that said people coming from other countries coming to Aotearoa, uh, should we recognise their culture? There, there's difficulties for people, for example, being able to um, make claims about violence, particularly in cultures where you don't talk about what's happening in your family, so they suffer longer uh, than, they, than they should. And there's all the issues about uh, relationship property, there's all the issues about violence, there's lots of issues about uh, children's issues, and there's lots of issues about the way New Zealand family law was colonised from the beginning. So there's endless number of issues, and I'm always insistent that people find their own pathway through it. You've found an issue that you've explored, you've gone into depth, and you are really the expert on it. No one else will know as much as, as you do on that particular topic. So it's, it's the best way to, to get into the real world. And you can take that back into your workforce or into, into your life so that you're not afraid to investigate something really deeply, form a viewpoint, find out what it's all about, and be clear about where we can do it better. Because the law, as you know, never is perfect, it never will be, but it'll only get better if people do research and expose some of the, the, the chinks in it, some of the difficulties, and they're able to find a way to make it much more coherent and much more workable, and you'll feel very proud of yourself um, when you get to the end of it. And you'll have made 25 other friends who you'll get to know and, and they hang around together, and I know you'll have a wonderful time. Look forward to seeing you all soon.